Joseph Macy has been battling polycystic kidney disease since he was 21 years old. It's everything. I mean, I was doing dialysis from home five to six times a week. You know, it's your entire life. It's everything. Constant pills every time you eat, four blood pressure medications, sometimes five. It's constant lab work. It's going to the clinic. You get sick all the time. You're in and out of the hospital. I had so many staph infections, I lost count. Rudolph Van Heerden's wife taught at the same school as Joseph's mom. She overheard a conversation about Joseph needing a kidney and was compelled to help. She asked me if I would consider, and, and my initial reaction was, <laughs> You go, girl. That's, that's all you. And just as we were driving, um, the conviction grew in me that, no, this was something that I needed to consider myself also. Joseph getting an unexpected call from USC saying he had a transplant date. I was completely shocked. I mean, I didn't really have friends or family that were willing to do it. So to have a complete stranger, it was kind of out of the blue. It was like I didn't think it was real. There's not a lot of, of huge life-saving steps we can take as people that, that, that you can immediately see the results. And now about a month later, both men are on the road to recovery. Their entire families feeling the impact. Extremely emotional. I mean, they're happy for me. They're, you know, lots of prayers, lots of reaching out, lots of, uh, you know, just hoping I'm doing well, hoping he's doing well. My daughter, I mean, hoping that she's happier. I mean, she doesn't have to see dad on dialysis anymore. So, I mean, it's a night and day change. Joseph at a loss for words. What do you say? You know, they, they don't make a Hallmark card that says, I mean, thank you for the kidney. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what do you do? What they did do is get each other these gifts. I'm running on spare parts. <laughs> And then it has the date, very special date. It's like my other birthday. I think I got more than just a lousy t-shirt though. I think I got a friend out of it. And uh, thank you. You're welcome. Visit organdonor.gov if you would like to donate. Change a person's life if you can. Callan Hobman, 23BC, connecting you.